smell like smoke. I smell like smoke. Oh boy, yeah. Nothing like doing an inspection and lighting your smoker and con just permeating your clothing and body and hair with pine saw smoke. <sighs> Here's my uh, swarm trap to take along to the Buford Jasper bee meeting tonight. Um, and uh, painted everything up with the shim and the uh, a little a little uh, spacer down here to close off the entrance and, and leave just a tiny entrance. And I painted up my new my new lid, my new box. Here's my medium, and uh, just putting my stuff away after my inspection. So we'll review my inspection in just a. <laughs> Swing the camera around aimlessly. All right, so there's my my gear, and uh, ready for ready for anything, right? That's the whole idea. Well, I managed to do my first inspection, or I go in to the frames before I'd only been lifting the top and throwing candy in there. Man, I'm impressed. Uh, let's see. They have, well, I saw eggs, single eggs at the bottom of some cells, so that's pretty new. I didn't see, that I could tell, I couldn't see larvae, so we're still, I guess we have a queen in there. I didn't see the queen myself. Their bees are over the sides of the box, and I think that's where she went, but I didn't push the point to go find her. Um... These two frames have some pretty good uh, comb on the foundationless. Um, it's yellow kind of wax. They're storing nectar and pollen, which that's impressive. Um, what else? Um, there's still a lot of bees in there. I didn't get stung. I was using smoke and moved really slow and got a few pecks on the leg. Um, Uh, they were crawling and just gnawing on me. That was pretty interesting. Do I regret not looking for the queen? No, they're still pretty messed up in there. I mean, just for congestion and, and comb building, they're just all over the place in there. I guess I'm not unhappy that I didn't go there. Um... <laughs> I'm happy to see just single eggs in the bottom of a couple cells, although it makes me wonder that she's only started laying the last three days. Um, well, it still puts us 21 days out, like I said in my last video. Um, so we're still a month out from having new bees, and uh, I'll take a picture of some of the bees that have been hauled out again, but then seeing the number of bees in there that there are that were just chilling making comb, maybe I'm not so upset or concerned anymore, or worried. Somebody called me worried. I, I am a worry wart, I guess. So that went well. I'm now smoking my tools in the smoker. Um, can't think of what else I'm, I'm thinking that bothers me or concerns me besides the neighbors seeing smoke or that's <laughs> as I do this or whatever, or me in a veil, or... So we're learning a little more about bees and what they do. And uh, about the only thing I didn't remember to do was put in a uh, drone comb or a prefab drone comb frame and prefab uh, regular comb frame. So I don't know if this is natural beekeeping or whatever, but uh, it worked out um, that I'm going to leave them. And if I have to, I'll, when they get all drawn out on the first four or five frames, then maybe I'll flip one in there. Keep them busy, I guess is what they say, or we'll pop up to the top, or top box. At least uh, I got a story to tell at the Buford Jasper Bee meeting tonight, so... Gentle bees, I guess I'm going to regret to see them go and see what the queen brings into the mix on uh, B. 
being a Hawaiian queen, um, maybe I wouldn't be so nervous about buying bees from Claxton anymore. They're, they're delightful. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> Toasted that up. Just my little one up, so sanitary. Uh, bee temperament. I guess I'm lucky to have these girls. Um, like I said, they stung me once going when I went up my pants leg the first night, so since then they've had a couple of them that buzz you, do the busy buzz that that they just don't leave you kind of thing, and that's that's been interesting. Um, two of them, and like that, so they are becoming more defensive, or this is still, they're still in a non-defensive mode because there's no actual cap brood or larvae. I'm a little worried that there's, we're into seven days and she just laying, started laying three days ago, and not a lot. So it took them that long to provide something for her that she liked. Um, we'll see. I got a whole other week to hang out and wait for them. So thanks for watching my little... I'm sorry I didn't bring it in when I had the bees open. It, I figured that was a little bit too much for even me. I think the people I watch on YouTube, like Dirt Rooster and... JP the B man, they they've got so much more practice at this. They don't, they can handle the camera. And next time maybe I'll set up a tripod or something like that. But this was just me trying to stay focused on not angering them too much. And hopefully I haven't crushed too many of them or pulled too many of them apart or anything. But uh, they're back to being very calm. I've still got the smoke running in the uh, yard, so maybe they're just gonna chill a little more, eat a little more honey or nectar. Uh, that's it for me. I'll put you back to them. My smoker. It's still lit. Uh, I turn it on its side because they say you can put it out that way and it's pretty hot so and uh sanitize my tools. So got pine <laughs> I'm smut all over them. <laughs> How about that? So there you are. I think I did okay. The foragers were all out. This was uh, 12.30 in the afternoon, so I probably didn't have all of the foragers in there either. They're still eating candy. Um, what else to say? As, as a beginner, I don't know what else to, to focus on that my smoker stayed lit, which I hear is a big part of the practical test. <laughs> so, yay. I had one of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, smoker pellets and stuffed it full of some of the storm pine straw and kept that going and then uh, tossed some of my weeds onto it. It was still a little bit warm, I think. Um, it wasn't a cool smoke, but they didn't get too too nappy about it. And I think I've got a oh gosh, I got a, a webinar I got to go listen to. So that's it for me as I go back to my art. Uh, so first inspection done, saw some eggs, nectar, pollen, and. Uh, Hopefully this means that they are off to a good start, and the losses that I see every day aren't too devastating, and we're still 21 days out from any new, new, new bees, so <sighs> still something to bite my nails about and keep me awake at night. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the advice that I got through my uh, people that said uh, tighten the entrance, get the feet away. Um, I know my mentor, mentor guy said the same thing, get the feet away from the door. And it is now 
off over here and uh, they do drink it from over here so maybe it's I got to present it the right way and uh, there's my new plants planted um, the only thing I got to say in closing about the uh, Home Depot or the orange store is uh, and neonicotinoids um, I think the plants you're going to find there that don't have them are the Bonnie uh, herbals. And uh, I think the reasoning behind that is Bonnie doesn't want to get pointed at for serving that up to people. So if you're going to go and plant some stuff, plant from seeds you trust or second year seeds or something that, that you know comes from a source that grows down in the south but maybe can distance yourself from the actual treatment and make it a, a fresh start or go for the herbs and like I say sage all the flowering herbs sage uh, catnip that's what I've got over in my other bucket is catnip from seed and that's got flowers that they go for it's a, such a pity the uh, zinnia that I saw that was so beautiful had had been treated, and I'm back and forth about that. I, you know, is, it, is it good or not? There's the memory problem. So, as much as I love the orange store, it might be that we go back to uh, independent nurseries, and they're few and far between and distant. They're off in the boonies. So, that's my two cents on that. I'll talk with you at you another day and another inspection. Thanks for watching. All right, after my webinar was over, I went out back out and uh, tried uh, the manipulation cloth just to because I forgot to use it earlier and uh, went through again. Um, I wasn't happy that I hadn't seen um, larvae, and I still I still don't. I'm still not looking looking right or there is only nectar uh, beginning of honey and uh, pollen out there on and there appears to be eggs but happily I saw the queen so she was lumbering around a bit um, she's a slow walker um, so single single cells with uh, eggs with single cells perfectly backs up that she's she's laying just uh, install is on the 18th and it's the 20 oh the, sorry the, the install was on the 11th it's 10 days later and we're still at just uh, unhatched eggs uh, unless they hid them somewhere under where they're walking and I don't see them which is entirely possible but uh, it looks like she didn't get going until Sunday when the, maybe the weather warmed up. Maybe that's when it, the two days of cold, the it's summer, you know, the spring equinox, whatever, you know, the spring equinox. And, uh, oh man, what a, what a day. I still smell like smoke. Um, so saw the queen and, uh, they're busy. They didn't mind this second intrusion. So today they're sweet. <laughs> it's 80 83 degrees out it's sunny they're they're liking life right now and uh don't mind the big human being bugging them except for one or two that got in my face and wouldn't leave me so i had to put my veil back on so i'm in uh, i'm in uh culottes uh cutoffs and a t-shirt and didn't get anybody running on me so Apart from those two face face huggers, <laughs> uh, yeah, I keep looking out at them. So, yeah, they're they're just they're clinging to the sides, they're clinging to each other, they're clinging to the comb that they've got built out, and uh, it is delicate. I was lucky I didn't break any because I'm such a beginner, and uh, it's uh, foundationless. So, there's the one she was on was a uh, unsupported one. It didn't even have the uh, fishing wire on it, so I'm lucky I didn't do serious damage <laughs> trying to look for her, and she just, she showed up, so she probably thought the coast was clear and long I come again, so 
that's that's my update for the end of this video. And now maybe I can go read a book or something and wait till next week. Thanks for watching a third time. Have a good week.